I think it's so important that we um, use humor in what we do and not get too serious about this stuff, you know, because, you know, in the end, you know, we should be enjoying life and teaching people that, you know, that's why we love freedom we, and we love uh, liberty is because you can enjoy life more, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're angry at someone for believing a certain thing, you know, that's not going to present well for the philosophy that you're trying to describe. Like some people say, I want to abolish the state, right? Or abolish mm-hmm. government. Um, right. or, or like you said, smash the state. Um, and I just don't see it like that. Statism is a state of mind, right? Mm-hmm. So the state is really, um, it's just men and women, as Mark Stevens says, men and women with guns forcing you to pay them. That's it. Men and women who believe that they have an exemption from the universal laws of morality that we are all subject to. And I think when we begin to apply morality to everyone without exception, there is no way that the state can exist at all. And and so you don't have to abolish anything. <laughs> the way Larkin Rose says it, it's like, it's like, we must abolish Santa Claus. We must abolish the Easter Bunny. But it doesn't exist for the in the first place. Oh, <laughs> right. It's like it's like if somebody says we should abolish Santa Claus and somebody's like, Well, how are we gonna how are the kids gonna get presents? <laughs> you know? So there's nothing to abolish, all right? It's just it's just these people that we think after they go through these these magical rituals, they all of a sudden have the right to steal and call taxation or to kidnap and call the war on drugs or to murder people in foreign lands and call the war on terror, right? It's still the same actions but with people with special costumes and badges. And we think that they're special people that have special immunities towards all these, you know, universal laws. You know, when you talk, when we talk about anarchism and people are like, oh, that's, that's all nice. Um, but, you know, there's always going to be somebody in control and, you know, there's always going to be somebody in power. It doesn't matter if you're an anarchist or, or what, you know. So, <laughs> so, so basically they're taken for granted that there's these power structures, right? The state where pe- somebody can just hold the reins of power. And so I think the idea to consider is what is power? Where does power originate? Right? Is it really on the throne? You know, going through these magical rituals? Is that where power originates? No. I think power originates from the people who believe that they are in power. <laughs> they give just like you said, they grant them this authority over us mere mortals, <laughs> regular individuals, uh, who don't have that exemption. So um, you know, this, the, the people in the military who, you know, believe that they must obey orders regardless if it conflicts with their own morality. Same thing with law enforcement. They believe they must obey orders regardless of the, you know, the morality of the laws. So that's, you know, where power originates. It originates in the people. They create these monsters that we're all taught to fear. You know, it's like it's like Hitler killed all killed six million Jews. No, he didn't. No, it was the didn't. order followers that killed. Right, <laughs> Hitler exactly. killed a few, maybe. You know, we have had these conversations with so many people in the past. So it's kind of like um, a teacher that has taught a class. You know, let's say for a whole semester, and they're like, "All right, I taught this whole subject. They know it. Good. <laughs> now the next semester comes. You got to go all the way back from the beginning." <laughs> And teach from the beginning. So every new person, you got to go back to the basics, the beginning. All right, you can never start from where you left off and get more complex. You know, philosophy of voluntarism and anarchy is based. It must be based in humility because it's basically saying that I don't know what's good for you. So how can I tell you how to live your life or, or um, you know, vote for an institution or empower an institution that will try to govern you against your will, right? I don't know how you should live your life. Most people don't even know how they should live their own lives. <laughs> so how do they expect to know how their neighbor should live their lives? You know, if somebody asked me, uh, you know, Daniela, what's what's the best way to improve the world? I wouldn't say vote libertarian. <laughs> you know, no. it's like, it's like I have a whole list of things, you know, you know, raise your kids peacefully, you know, unschool, uh, start a business, uh, treat your friends with respect, treat your, you know, anyone, everyone you meet with respect, <laughs> you know, um, agorism, all these things go down the line. Voting is, I, I, I wouldn't even say it. <laughs> I wouldn't even mention it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I would say that, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's more, it's, it's both, it, it's all three of these things. It's a waste of time. It's ineffective. And the case could be made, it's immoral. The, uh, you know, why, you know, going down to Washington, D.C. with your guns and everything, it's, it doesn't work. You know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know, if you remove all the politicians, if you remove all of the, you know, the tanks and the soldiers and the military and, the, 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 you know, the IRS, 
It doesn't matter. That's the symptom of the problem. That's not the problem itself. The problem is not in Washington, D.C., right? The problem is in the minds of the people who believe that this is necessary for a civilized society, right? They believe that they are necessary because if you just remove them and the people still believe, they have this irrational belief in their mind, this status belief, they'll just create it again. It will mm-hmm. come back again, right? That's, you know, you got to get at the root, right? As, a, as Henry David Thoreau, for every thousand people hacking at the branches, there's one hacking at the root. 